during a total solar eclipse, there are various phases in which you can do some special things. when the moon is actually only partially covering the disk of the sun, you will see certain features on the surface of the sun, particularly sunspots. The sunspot will appear as a dark spot on the sun. It is actually an area of cooler temperature, about 1500 degrees cooler than the surface of the sun, which is about 5700 degrees Kelvin. The cool thing about sunspots is that they vary. They vary across what is called the solar cycle. Sometimes we'll see a bunch of them and they will be all scattered on the surface of the sun and sometimes we will not see many at all and sometimes we won't see any at all. Another phenomena that's really interesting to see during a total solar eclipse is called the prominence. Right at the edge of the surface of the sun, you'll be able to see what looks like an arch. And this arch is actually a huge explosion of glowing gas on the surface of the sun, sometimes as large or larger than the Earth and it looks like an arch because it's following the magnetic loops on the surface of the sun. Another interesting phenomena that you can actually observe either by looking through a filter telescope or by putting on your eclipse glasses is called Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads is caused because the surface of the moon is actually not smooth. The moon is covered with craters and it has valleys and mountains. And so that structure on the surface of the moon, when it just about reaches up against the surface of the sun, that sunlight is coming through those valleys and through those craters, creating almost like little beads of light at the very, very edge of that contact between the moon and the sun. And that's what is called Bailey's beads. The last effect that you can actually observe with your eclipse glasses or through the filter telescope before totality is called the diamond ring effect. It truly looks like a diamond ring and it's caused by that last glimpse of sunlight. The cool thing about Bailey's beads and the diamond ring effect is that you can see them as the moon is covering the sun for the first time and as the moon starts to uncover the sun for the first time. And so you see it twice. During totality is when the full glory of a total solar eclipse can be observed. And that is called the corona. The corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun, but because of the brightness of the sun and the brightness of the sky, we cannot see it except during a total solar eclipse. From eclipse to eclipse, depending on where you are on the magnetic cycle of the sun, the corona can take on a different kind of configuration. When the sun's magnetism is at its peak, the corona will be quite symmetric, but during the time when the magnetic activity of the sun is at its minimum, you will see the coronal wisps only coming out of the equatorial, so more like east-west or left and right. And this is also, during totality, the time when you can actually take off your eclipse glasses and actually look at the sun.